1931 Nevada legalized gambling. The unique laws of this state attracts worldwide attention. Gambling's not the only attraction though in this neon city. Entertainment, dining, and sports bring visitors here from all corners of the world. Today in Vegas, you'll see Tracy Cole of the Spirit of American Gymnastics Club against Wendy Bruce of Browns Gymnastics. Tracy drew a first round bye, while Wendy Bruce had to come from behind to defeat Jenna Reardon in the first round. Bruce trailed after one event, but quickly took the lead with his 9-7-5 on the unevens, and then captured the next two events to ice the win. The men's tournament features University of Nebraska standout Tom Schlesinger against University of Minnesota stalwart Dan Zimfer. Both gymnasts had solid first-round performances to oust their preliminary challengers. 24-year-old Tom Schlesinger captured all six disciplines and breezed to a three-point victory in his first-round challenge against Bobby Kiefer. The Neon Strip, synonymous with chances, an appropriate site for head-to-head -head gymnastics. Center in Las Vegas, Nevada, site of the 1990 U.S. Gymnastics Challenge. Hello everyone, I'm Leandra Riley, and as the name implies, this is a challenge head-to-head -head competition. Our meet has now advanced to the second round, and the winners here will survive for the medal and final round. Let's take a look at the brackets and see what's happened so far. Look at the bottom of your screen, and this is where we will see Tracy Cole against Wendy Bruce. We already know that Kim Zemeskel and Stephanie Woods have advanced to the final rounds. Now on the men's side of the competition, again, it's the bottom of your screen that you're looking at. That's where Dan Zimfer and Tom Schlesinger are competing, as we already know that Mike Racanelli and Jeff Lutz have advanced. So let's bring in Peter Vidmar, 1984 Olympic gold medalist, to talk about first the women. Wendy Bruce against Tracy Cole. Is this a mismatch? Well, it's hard to say because we can always say that Wendy is a very seasoned competitor. We've seen her over the years, and she's done very well, especially 1989. But Tracy Cole has come in somewhat untested into this round because she had a bye in the first round. We don't know how she can handle this type of a format, but she's a tough gymnast, and I think it'll be pretty close. Let's bring in your expertise on the men's side of the competition. It is Tom Schlesinger against Dan Zimfer. And once again, Tom Schlesinger, the veteran. We've seen him as an alternate in the Olympic team, an NCAA gymnastics champion. But uh, you never know. Dan Zimfer's a tough gymnast. He could sneak in there, too. If there's anything we've learned from the men so far, there's a lot of parity, and it's always been close down to the very end. All right, we are going to begin our competition with the men's apparatus. They start on floor exercise, and our first gymnast will be up after these messages. Welcome back to Las Vegas, Nevada. We're about to begin our 1990 U.S. Gymnastics Challenge with men's floor exercise. It's Dan Zimfer against Tom Schlesinger. Dan Zimfer is up first. Zimfer is 21 years of age. He's a civil engineering major at the University of Minnesota, where he is coached by Fred Roethlisberger. Dan scored a 9.35 in the first round against Chris Cabot. And he's going to have to do a good job in this meet to defeat Tom Schlesinger, his opponent. It was a nice full in back out. Second tumbling pass. Round off, backhand spread. Layout with two twists. Now he was a little bit forward there, and so uh, he just dropped to, the, to, his, to his chest. Judges might take about a tenth off for that. There's a presto a handstand, nice and steady. Now, men's floor routine is 50 to 70 seconds. And at 50 seconds, they get a little bell for a warning. Straight out front. Now, at 5'8", that's tall for a gymnast. Hmm. I would think a layout front's a very difficult move. It is, and, and you have to give credit to taller gymnasts because there is a very high strength-to-weight ratio that we need in our sport, and yet uh, the big guys have to be exceptionally strong to be able to do this. And a double backflip dismount. Dan Zimfer. Dan Zimfer was born in Rochester, New York, currently calls Kent, Ohio his home. And once again, Dan mounts with a double back flip with a full twist on the first flip. There's the full 
in, back, out. Right to the corner. Now his second tumbling pass is a round off, back handspring, layout, double twist, and he's leaning forward so he has to just put his hands down. He probably wanted to maybe take a step forward but he knew that was just a blatant yeah, deduction sure. so he thought, well let's see if I can get away with it. Let me just drop to my chest. <laughs> Well, he fooled me. 9-4-5, the Florex score for Dan Zimfer. A nice way to start the meet, especially when you're going up against the number two seed in this competition, Tom Schlesinger. Born in Chapel Hill, North Carolina, currently calls Boulder, Colorado home. Tom Schlesinger competes for the University of Nebraska. He's a chemistry major that manages to hold a 3.98 grade point average. He wants to become a physician. Tom is coached by Francis Allen and Jim Howard. And Tom's a former NCAH all-around champion from the University of Nebraska. Long history of excellent gymnastics there. There's a full-in back out for a mount. Takes a step back. Couldn't quite see if his foot touched the line or not. It's a handspring. Layout front full twist. There's a flare, handstand pirouette. Tom's just a, a little bit off so far. He needs to kind of get his composure back. Look a little bit wobbly in the first, uh, in this first half of the set. No blatant deductions, but just, just got to get real secure. There's a front flip, front flip. Catch a few breaths. Do that, do that balance move in the corner. And Tom sets up for his dismount. It's round off back handspring, double tuck, and he should get a should get a decent oh, score. He should keep him right in there. Do you think it's better than a nine four five? Well, we'll see. It should be right around that, right around the same score. So uh, you're going to see them pretty even going in the pommel horse. Let's take a look and see if he stepped out in that first pass. It was hard to st it was really hard to tell. He did a full twisting double back flip. Then he, his left foot took a big step back. Close. Oh, very close. He didn't get a flag from the judge. And I so think that's all that matters. I think he looked back <laughs> and said, Jeep, did I step out? <laughs> and here's his round off back handspring. Double tuck for his dismount. Takes a little hop forward. And going to the second rotation but nice and secure. Should keep him around the same. And it does. Tom Schlesinger receives a 9.40, so he's five hundredths of a point behind Dan Zimmer. You're watching the U.S. Gymnastics Challenge on Sports Channel America as we pause now for a regional break. Recapping the scores from the first round between Dan Zimfer and Tom Schlesinger, Dan Zimfer holds a .05 lead after one rotation. The men are ready to compete on their second event, but first, let's introduce the ladies. It's Tracy Cole against Wendy Bruce, and the women begin on vaulting. And our first vaulter is Tracy Cole, the number eight seed in this tournament. She lives in Norman, Oklahoma, competes for the Spirit of America Club. Tracy was untested in the first round simply because she had a bye. She does a tucked full 15 years ago. Cool. This is the round off onto the Tracy board, into a back handspring onto the horse, into what we call a Sukahara type dismount. So it's a round off, back handspring, into a full twisting tucked back salto. She did it quite well. There she goes. She had nice extension before she tucked it in. She had a very good pre-flight. A nice pre-flight, good form, knees together. Took that hop in the end. That'll be a little bit of a, little bit of a deduction. Score she received, 9.625. Now in women's gymnastics, they are allowed to execute two vaults 
the higher score Ready is the one race. that carries. The other Stand score on. is thrown out. Now she just takes some pressure off. She can try to little bit one, but she'll get a bunch of score. Landing was perfect. Tracy is coached by Kenny Vineyard, and they're both very happy with that second vault. Now, this forces the judges to give her a higher score simply because it was a better vault. She's going to have to get at least a 9.7. 9.75, maybe. Done quite well. Got some good distance. She has good form. She hits the board. Legs are, legs are nice and together. Knees together, toes pointed. Zeroes in right in the landing. She's happy. The second ball received a 9.675. The first was 9.625. So it is the second ball that will count. 9.675. And that's a pretty good number and a pretty good way to start the meet. Especially when you're going up against the number two seed in the tournament, Wendy Bruce. Wendy Bruce is 17 years of age from North Lauderdale, Florida. Was born in Plainview, New York. She is coached by Kevin and Rita Brown. Competes for Brown's Gymnastics in Altamont Springs, Florida. Wendy's had a quite a, quite a career just in the last uh, in the last year. She's competed in the World Gymnastics Championships and the International Mixed Pairs Competition. She was first place. She's about to complete her sophomore year at Lake Brantley High School. If you notice, she went back to a little scoring uh, board. She had to change the number of her vault to make sure it fit. There's a laid out new change. Well, I think it brings up a good point because when a gymnast is down there, she can't simply bail out and do something else. No. She has to flash a coded number which Correct. tells the judges which vault she's doing. There's a bit of a difference with men's gymnastics. We'll explain that in a second. There's the round off onto the board. Now, she does a laid out Sukahara full twist once she hits that once she hits the horse. So it's a full twisting Yurchenko in the laid out position. Takes a big step back. It's going to be a deduction. Wendy's all-around score yesterday was 38.7. Round up backhand spring. Five. There's the full and you twist. Can, you can clearly see the difference where Tracy tucks score her knees in ball. and Wendy stays laid out. Now in men's Nine gymnastics, you only five. get one shot, but you don't have to announce what your vault's going to be. And so maybe that's a little bit of a plus, but uh, she has to tell the judge, hey, this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to do a full twisting laid out your chinko. All right, the score she received for the first one, 9.75. So already she's better than Tracy Cole, 9.675. As you get the perspective from Kevin Brown's angle, watching his gymnast come down the runway. Here she goes, much better. <laughs> nice, he's stuck back. You know, I think sometimes when you do that first ball, you're feeling yourself out, trying to see, gee, what can I do just to make sure I land on my feet? And here she says, okay, next time I'm going to zero in. And she was right on the money. Check her feet for glue or stick them. She's on there. Mm, just right. And remember, the first vault was 9.75. She can only go up. And the, and the judges are forced to give her a higher score. They really are. Nice form. Oh, the number she received, 9.95. That's as close to perfect as you can get. 9.95 for Wendy Bruce. Good news for her. Not such good news for Tracy Cole, who did such a good job, but finds herself in a deficit after one rotation. Now let's go back over to the men's side, where Tom Schlesinger and Dan Zimfer are getting ready to compete on the pommel horse. And Tom Schlesinger is up first. Again, he trails by .05, a very close competition here between the number two seed, Schlesinger, and the number five seed, Zimfer. And Tom won the Winter Nationals, which is our semi-annual national event in men's gymnastics, where they re-rank the men's team. He just worked across the horse, swinging lengthwise, working back across the horse again. And here's a flare sequence. Traveling across the horse lengthwise in flare. Back more to the center. Now he'll do a scissor break. There's a flare into an undercut. It used to be that we had to do front scissors and back scissors. They, they've changed the requirement a little bit, but you only have to do two scissors now. And a flare to a handstand. Almost got stuck, but he really pulled it out. That'll be a good score. Tom Schlesinger, no stranger to Las Vegas, in 88 at the Las Vegas Sports Festival. He finished second in the all-around with Joyce Wilburn. Tom Schlesinger was a member of the gold medal team at the 1987 Pan Am Games as we take another look. Let's take a look at his dismount. Uh, he got a little stuck on the way up. You want to make it one fluid motion, but he was strong enough to just get those legs up there. 
9-5-5. The score for Tom Schlesinger, that'll be added to the 9-4 he received for the floor exercise routine. So his all-around total right now is 18.95. Pretty good numbers. Great way to start this second round of the U.S. Challenge. It's Dan Zimfer's turn now to go on the pommel horse, University of Minnesota senior. And so far, this is a tight competition. There's only about five one-hundredths of a point separating the two after the first round on floor exercise. In 1988, he was a member of the NCAA third place championship team in Lincoln, Nebraska, where the NCAA tournament was held that year. And he starts by working across the horse without pommels and flares, doing it lengthwise, then doing it sideways. Oh, oh no! Oh, he just completely Three lost his, hand, his balance. I think his hand just slipped right off the horse. Gee, and he looks so dynamic. And a great start there. And that's a disappointment. And we talk about an event like this where you just can't afford to make a mistake because then you've really got some catching up to do. I just can't see. I couldn't see if his right hand was just behind him and he just got stuck back there. Pommel horse is one of those events that if you're off balance, if you don't make an adjustment within a fraction of a second, then that problem you have becomes multiplied and multiplied until you're just bingo, you're on the ground. Continues on. Point five hundredths of a point was his advantage going into this rotation. That fall is worth at least five tenths of a point. Well, he was off balance before the fall too, and that'll be a deduction. Now he just changes dismount as well. Some other deductions going with it. So his lead is quickly eaten away with the fall, but that's not to say he's out of the running. There's four events yet to go in the men's competition as we take another look at the end of his routine. The second rotation for the women and third rotation for the men. The women, the march to the Not exactly a strong finish for Dan Zimper. His score on his first event was 9-4-5 on the floor exercise. Schlesinger received a 9-4, and that's where Zimper jumped out to a quick lead. But then Tom Schlesinger got a 9-5-5 on the pommel horse, and the score has just been flashed for Dan Zimper. It's 8.90. So there's trouble in Las Vegas for Dan Zimper. We'll be back with his third event and more competition for the women. But first, these messages. Welcome back to Las Vegas. That fall on the Palma horse really hurt Dan Zimfer. He had to give up the lead as Tom Schlesinger now holds a .6 advantage over Zimfer after two events. On the women's side, the 995 that Wendy Bruce received is a meet record. The old record was held by her former teammate, Brandy Johnson. I should say her current teammate, Brandy Johnson, just isn't in this meet this day. 995, a new meet record. And of course, she has the lead as well at .275. We will continue now with the women's competition. This Wendy is Wendy Bruce, Bruce at the uneven parallel bars. And in the first round, Wendy scored a 9.75, so she's very powerful. Good gymnast on unevens. Kip to a handstand, giant pirouette. There's a Jaeger salto down to the low bar. Kip pirouette over, over the low bar. Let's trail a kip up. Now another series before she sets up for a dismount. There's a giant full pirouette over the top. Very difficult. Right into a double back. <laughs> nice solid routine. Number two seed, born in Plainview, New York. That's Kevin Brown. Her dismount's very difficult because she did a full pirouette over the top. The leg separation, any trouble there? A little bit of a deduction, but from there she goes right into the double back. Got to be right on her toes to do that. Really pull that around. Wendy Bruce with the meet record for the vault, 9.95. Should get a pretty good score for that uneven parallel bar set. Yeah, you know, she's, she's going to possibly widen that lead, but it just depends on, on what... Tracy's going to do right now on the unevens. Now the winner of this duel between Tracy and Wendy will compete in the third and final round of this U.S. Challenge. The score, 9.675 for Wendy Bruce on the uneven parallel bars. Good numbers. Puts more pressure on Tracy Cole, the number eight seed. And there she is. 
Tracy Cole received a 9.675 for her vault. You know, and that's such a good score, a 9.675, but it's so overshadowed by a 9.95. She's got to make up just a little bit more here. Back up wise, free hip circle to a reverse heck. Into a ganger. Very, very difficult. This is a nice routine so far. Oh, nice move. You don't see too many women throwing gingers. You see the men doing it all the time. Another full pirouette over the bar into her double back. Wendy's was a little bit farther out. Does that matter? Wendy had a little bit more, a uh, little more distance, maybe a little bit more height, but she zeroed in well on the landing. Let's take a look at these release moves, though. Now here is what we call a ganger. It's a flyaway with a half turn, and she shoots right over the low bar. I really like that skill. It's one of my favorites. And her dismount, again, is a giant with a full pirouette over the top. The US Same as Wendy's, into an immediate double back. With that and, jump for time. and a smile. <laughs> she should score well. 9675 was the score for Wendy Bruce on the Anita Parallel Bars. And all Tracy Cole can do now is wait. Seated number eight, Johnson. Wendy Bruce seated number two. And this has been a surprisingly close contest. Are. Tracy Cole doing a good job. Wendy Bruce really coming on strong and vault. Bruce doing a good job on uneven parallel bars. And then you have Tracy Cole coming on strong. Will be and Tracy had many of the same tomorrow. elements in her uneven bar routine that Wendy did, but she also added that extra release move. And uh, it was just packed with difficulty. And they've just given us the numbers. As you can see, the judges are turning in their sheets. 9.65. So Wendy Bruce does win the uneven parallel bars. Not by much. It's still a very close contest in this event for the women. 9.65 to 9.675. Wendy Bruce still has the lead. Now we'll go back over to the men's competition. It's the still rings, and Dan Zimfer is up first. He trails by six tenths of a point to Tom Schlesinger. Zimfer, number five seed in this competition. Tom Schlesinger, seeded number two. And here's a kip to an L cross. Lowers down through the bottom to a front lever, another strength move. And locate to a Yamawaki, back up rise to a straddle L. So far, this ring routine isn't packed with as much difficulty as some of the routines we've seen throughout this, these weeks of competition. But he's nice and solid on it. There's a giant to a handstand. Into a half and half out dismount. Dan Zimfer. It's a solid routine, though. He'll get a good score. Dan advanced into today's competition. Dan Zimfer's been in the score for 12 years. Yesterday. And his dismount is a giant into a full twisting double back flip. It zeroes in, looks at the ground a little bit, and lands just right. And the score for that still rings performance, 9.50. So his three scores so far today, 9.45, 8.90, and 9.5. Tom Schlesinger's two scores previous to this, 9.4, 9.55. That's why he's ahead by 0.6. Next up, Tom Schlesinger. This is a good event for Tom Schlesinger now in the rings. Tom's got a world of experience internationally outside of the Olympics. He's been to Holland, he's been to Japan, He's been to Romania. Kip to an L cross. Back kip to an L. Stiff, stiff press to a handstand. We call it a stiff, stiff because your arms are stiff and the legs are stiff. Mm -hmm. Nickname it a stiff, stiff. There's an inverted cross. Boy, he fell out of that, though. He did not hold that. That'll be a deduction. And he's getting a bit of a swing, too. He's struggling. Now, he was smart to... to to do this last skill when he did because he killed the swing. He kind of countered that swing. And he, and he, and he 
is able to hold the ring steady again. There's a pike half and half out. I would have gained his composure, but he did fall out of that inverted cross. Oh, and, that the swing. and that's the problem with these strength skills, is that you have to hold it just the right amount of time. Because if you fall too soon, if you fall too late, then you gain an extra swing based on the way the rings are swinging. Here's the pike half in, half out. It's really difficult to twist and, and flip at the same time in the pike position. Excuse me. So Tom Schlesinger saying excuse me to the cameraman as he moves to his next event, waiting for his score. The score he wants to beat is 9.5. That's the number they gave to Dan Zimfer. And the score that they've given him is 9.45. And we're going to pause now for a regional break. Tom Schlesinger leads Dan Zimfer by .55. It's 2840 to 2785. On the women's side, Wendy Bruce and Tracy Cole are neck and neck. Both ladies scoring very, very well. But right now, after two rotations, Wendy Bruce holds a .3 advantage as the women head into their third event. It is the balance beam, and Tracy Cole is up first. She is from Norma, Oklahoma, and in Norman, Oklahoma, is the gymnastics club called Spirit of America. Kenny Vineyard is her coach. A 12-year veteran of the sport. She began competing in 1978. Another well-known gymnast from Oklahoma was my teammate, Bart Connor. Difficult mount. Round off on the board. He's a back layout step out. Right into a tumbling pass. Back handspring, back layout, back handspring, step out. On the beam, you must do a series of High leaps, you must do a full turn as we just saw there. Tumbling pass. Interesting. So far Tracy's right on. Cartwheel. A crowd pleaser. That's a skill that's been around for a long time, but it's still very hard to do. Round off back layout, legs to get it. It's very difficult, done quite well. Getting ready for her dismount now. Oh, that's, that's a leap, she fooled me. <laughs> that was very difficult. Any high amplitude leap is, is, is as hard as any skill that we can see sometimes on beam. Sometimes the girls just uh, will hit the big flipping skills and they'll do a leap and all of a sudden that'll throw them off. Dismount, layout, double twist. The thing about the leap that she did is she also had one with the turn. And when you're not leaping, looking at the end of the beam, you have nothing to spot. And you're just looking out at infinity when your eyes are sideways on the beam, and it's a little hard to maintain your balance. That's right. This mount was difficult. She does a round off onto the board and does a back layout, step out, right onto the beam. And here's a round off. Back, back layout, notice how she punched onto the beam as, she, as a gymnast would on the floor exercise. It was not a step out. Now her dismount is a round off, back handspring. Once again, legs together, layout, double twist. I'll tell you, she has really been solid in this meet. Her score, 9.825. The highest score she's received so far. 9.675 for Hall, 9.65 for Bars, 9.825 for Balance Beam. And she's making Wendy Bruce earn every tenth. <laughs> well, I'll tell you what, Wendy's really going to have to do a good job. And she's, she's handled pressure before, but she's forced into it again right here. She is a teammate of Brandy Johnson. Brandy Johnson, one of America's premier gymnasts, not competing in this event. Taking a little break from the sport. There's a punch front. Ooh, that's going to be a little bit of a deduction, but she stayed on and stayed tough. Yeah, as I was saying earlier, as you watch balance beam, uh, you'll see some of the girls talk about things like that full turn we just saw that's very, very difficult. And you can hear oohs and ahs from experienced gymnastics people on skills that the crowd really doesn't care about because they can't appreciate how difficult it is. But anytime they see a flip, they think, oh, that's got to be hard. And usually, of course, it is. But other elements that aren't 
is flashy and still just as difficult. There's a nice back hand speed, back hand spring, back layout walkout. So far she's had two little bobbles. She can't afford to have any more if she wants to get as high a score as Tracy. And she has three tenths of a point to spare. That's her, her advantage right now over Tracy Cole. Just a little bit of a buffer. Double tuck. Oh, Bruce. Oh, nice well, just comparing head to head, I think Wendy Bruce had a better routine than Tracy. I mean, Tracy Cole had a better routine than Wendy Bruce. Wendy You're the expert. Old. Was Wendy Bruce's I different routine that much more? Well, I, w well, I, I was impressed with that. With Brown, Brown, yeah, yeah, with a variety of different skills. Now, Wendy still has a very difficult, difficult routine. Let's take a look at these back handsprings here. She does a back handspring step out. Finisher. Into the another back handspring step out, into a back layout. Just gets a little bit off here. She had a few of these little bobbles. Yeah, and every time that happens, no matter how difficult your performance is, the judges have to take off a tenth of a point. Winning score, 9.65. Yep. yep, takes a little hop forward. It won't score as well. And it didn't. 9.65, the score for Wendy Bruce on the balance beam. Tracy Cole, 9.825. So these two are going to really be fighting it out on the floor exercise Tom as they gap the arrows. Now let's go over to the men's side of the competition where Tom Schlesinger is challenging Dan Zimfer. They are on their fourth event, which happens to be vault. And in men's competition, you vault once and it counts. Tom does a, a Sukuhara full oh. twist. Oh, that's a big deduction. He can't afford that. Tom Schlesinger. Boy, he just did not have the power. Well, he has .55 to spare, and he just used it he all was, up. Well, it looked like he was uh, way off to the side. Way off to the side. And you can see he didn't fall backwards. He fell completely to his left side. He needs to get a little bit more squared off on the horse. Well, he was just way off. And he just let Dan Zimfer back in the meet. 8.95, the score for that ball. That's really going to hurt him. This will be closer than we thought. Dan Zimfer had a fall on the pommel horse. And he received an 8.90, so I would say things have evened back up now. Each gymnast has fallen once. Dan Zimfer just needs to do a steady vault here. Well, he's going to have to seize the moment if he wants to uh, get back in this competition. Is a layout Sukuhara with yeah, Sukuhara. certainly going to be a better score than Tom's. Took a little step forward, but it was a very good ball. And Again, the score for Schlesinger was 8.95. As we take another look at Dan Zimfer's ball. Now he does basically the same ball as Tom did, but he has a lot more power. Good body position, a little bit low, but he digs that foot in and he's able to stay in his seat without putting his hands down. And his score is 9.35, and this entire rotation is very very close the women are just tenths apart and so are the men and we'll be back with a scoring recap but first we're going to take a timeout. This is the closest competition in this U.S. Challenge. After four rotations between Dan Zimfer and Tom Schlesinger, the margin of difference is just .15. And things aren't much farther apart on the women's side. Tracy Cole against Wendy Bruce. Wendy Bruce is ahead, but by less than two-tenths of a point. 29.275 to 29.15. And it is the women that are up right now on the floor exercise. This is a fourth and final event. Wendy Bruce must go first. Tracy Cole will follow. I've seen a big change in women's floor exercise over the years. In the past, uh, you could see a, a marked difference in the difficulty level of tumbling between the men and women in gymnastics. But no more. The women are doing skills that are, that are as difficult or more difficult than what we're seeing the men do. And 
Good evidence of this is Wendy's first tumbling pass. In 1989 at the Belgian International Gym Masters Meet in Belgium, she finished first on floor exercise. And the McDonald's International Mixed Pairs, first in the all-around. USA, USSR, and Columbus, Ohio last year, fourth all around. She is always up there, very consistent, tough, tough competitor. And right now, she's getting a surprise challenge from the number eight seed, Tracy Cole. As I mentioned about her mount, she mounts with a, a, a layout double back somersault. Here she goes. Very, very nice. difficult. She has enough rotation to spare. She can take a step backwards. It's very, very hard. Very strong gymnast. Getting ready for her next pass. There's a round off, whip over, flip flop, double tuck. It's a little step forward. Now, Wendy mounts with that double layout, which is about as difficult a skill as we see in women's gymnastics. And then, uh, if you look towards the end of her performance, she's, she's not going to dismount with an incredibly difficult skill. In the other competitions I've seen her, she dismounts with a layout double twist. It is a fairly stock dismount. You know, some girls have to have dance movements that will give them a lot of rest, but Wendy is not resting. She is bouncing around a lot on the floor. That takes a lot of energy, and as a result, that's probably why her dismount isn't like a double back flip. She has a layout double twist, and just fairly stock dismount. Wendy Bruce! Great performance! This is a close competition. This is tough. This is going to be very, very tough. She gets congratulated by Kevin Brown. She's fighting to stay alive in this U.S. challenge as we take another look at this very difficult first pass. This is a double back flip with the body in a stretch position. It's very hard to rotate. you got to get your chest, get her, gets her arms up. Very, very good. Now her second pass is a round off into a whip over, which is a back handspring with no hands. To a back handspring, double tuck. Now her last pass is a layout with two twists. It's a double full. Not nearly as difficult as her first pass, but after all the dance and the energy she puts out in her routine, maybe that's about all she has left. And yet she does it quite well. And the judges have granted her a 9.7. And now I believe that Tracy Cole's going to need something very close to a 9-9 to try to beat her. Because the margin of difference was 1.75. It's about a 9-9 is what Tracy Cole's going to have to do. And I don't know that she has a difficulty to get that. Well, she's going to have to go for broke. Here's her first tumbling pass. It's a round off back handspring, a layout pike. Not quite the difficulty of Wendy's first pass, but it's still a, a, a tough skill. It's difficult to land well on a layout pike. Second tumbling pass is a round off back handspring. Lay out with three twists, put her hand down, she's definitely out now. There's no way she can move on. And I think she knows it. Now she's not quite as, as aggressive in her dance skills and moving around the floor as Wendy was. Let's see what she does for her dismount. That's a disappointment. She really we really need to land that triple full to keep her in the ball game. But a 9.9 .9 is a very high score. And she has to be near perfect to be able to move on. Here's your dismount, round off, back handspring, layout, double twist. Oh, I like the finish. Tracy Cole. Nice routine by Tracy Cole. And what a pleasant surprise she has Carmen been in Oklahoma. this meet. 
She was up against the number two seed, seeded number eight, and put on the show that she put on, pushing Wendy Bruce to the fourth and final event. This was not a sure thing by any stretch of the imagination. Now, you know, when you have a competition under your belt, as Wendy did, then she kind of knows what the format's like and what to expect. Tracy had a bye, and so as a result, she didn't even compete in the first mm -hmm. round. An unknown quantity. Now, let's see what happened when she had to put her hand down. Well, here. she does a layout with three twists. It's very, very difficult. And she just did not get the rotation around. Uh -huh. She had to put that hand down. Too bad. What a great showing, though. 9.375 is the score for Tracy Cole. So Wendy Bruce is our winner in a very closely contested battle here in the second round of the U.S. Challenge. Wendy Bruce was icing her right knee. Will survive to compete in the third round as the men continue their battle. And this one is also a close contest between Dan Zimfer and Tom Schlesinger. Schlesinger is up right now on the parallel bars, just .15 between these two gymnasts. This is Dan. Dan's going to mount with a peach to a handstand. Front up rise. Pirouette. Peach basket, straddle cut, swing right back up, handstand. There's a back toss. A back flip in between the bars. Another back toss. Cast, back up rise, straddle cut. That's a fairly stock maneuver. Press to a handstand, getting ready for a dismount. Double tuck. Dan Zimper. Both Dan Zimper and Tom Schlesinger suffered falls in previous rotations. Zimper suffered a fall on the pommel horse, Schlesinger on the vault. Once again, the double back dismount, is, as we've seen throughout this event, is is, is been the predominant dismount on pommel bars, as always in men's gymnastics. Takes a step back, which is an automatic tenth of a point. And score, 9.5. And the score is 9.5. Which I think opens the door. I mean, Tom, Tom's going to widen that lead, I think, if he can just hit his routine. Um, once again, I think we're going to go down to the last event, right to horizontal bar, to see who's going to win this one. But uh, Tom, I think, is a tough enough gymnast that if he just does what he's done in the past, that uh, he can get a better score even than a 9.5. Dan Zimfer seated number five. Tom Schlesinger seated number two. And Zimfer is 21 years of age, Schlesinger is 24. Thomas competed internationally beginning back in 1986 when he went to Romania. He's been to many countries in between, including the Olympic Games. He's a smart gymnast. He's also an excellent student. GTE academic All-American, chemistry major. Peach straddle cut, swing to a handstand, pirouette. There's a stutz, front up rise, setting up for a Healy twirl. Done very, very well. In a lot of control, two in a row, quite difficult. There's a pirouette into a V. Press to a handstand. There's a back toss to another back toss and run into a dismount. He's got to stop his rotation on the back tosses. Now he's got to really get a lot of rotation on the double oh, pipe. And he's going to widen his lead. The score he wants to beat is 9.5. This is always interesting. He's got to do two back tosses where he's trying to slow down, stop that rotation so he can stop in the handstand. Now all of a sudden he switches gears and says, okay, let's spin as fast as I can. And you can see it on his face. Cold Crank it on. up. <laughs> yeah, it's like jump-starting a yeah, you bet. big motorcycle. 9.75, the score for Tom Schlesinger. So he outpoints Dan Zimfer, received a 9.5. It's time now for a regional break. We'll be right back. Number two seed, Tom Schlesinger, is ahead of Dan Zimfer by four-tenths of a point. Their all-around totals, 47-1 to 46-7. It's time now for the sixth and final event here in this second round of the 1990 U.S. Challenge, and that is the high bar where Tom Schlesinger is mentally preparing to go through his set. 
The judges have given him the green flag, and he'll mount the apparatus. Tom knows that if he's just consistent and if he just hits his routine, that he should make it into that final round. Let's see if he plays it safe or goes for it. There's a wrong way stalled or pirouette. Full turn over the bar, into a full turn over the bar, catching with one arm into a one arm game, your very difficult sequence. He stoops in into a German giant swing. Not very many gymnasts do that. It's been around for a long time. You have to do some sort of a dorsal grip, and most gymnasts do the eagle giants or the inverts, but he does the one. Says that for a dismount. Looks like Tom will make it into the final round. To leave any kind of a prayer of hope for Dan Zimfer, he'd have to get less than a 9-6, and I don't think that routine's going to get less than a 9-6. No. If he gets anything over a 9-6, that means Dan Zimfer needs more than a 10. Here's this German giant. It's, it's a unique skill. He stoops in, shows some hamstring flexibility there, and then swings around to a double German. It's very, very difficult, and stoops right back in again. That is not an easy skill. Now his dismount is a nice straightforward double layout. Sees the ground early enough. Gets a good landing, takes a little hop, but he knows that's enough to put him in that final round. 9.8 is the score, and he has eliminated Dan Zimfer because they don't give scores higher than 10, and that's what he would need Next, to overtake Schlesinger. 9.8, the score Dan for Tom Schlesinger. Zimfer. And now Dan Zimfer is just playing out the string. You know, it's hard to, when you're playing out the string and you look at that one bar and say, yeah, I can't relax here. I know I'm not going to make it, but I've got I've to do a good job here. It's a long drop if you miss that bar when you do these release skills. There's a stalder, pirouette. And here's a reverse hack, legs together into another reverse hack. So far, he's right on. There's a giant. A full turn. Rolls his other arm into the eagle grip. That's the required position. Then does a hot pirouette. And his dismount is a half in, half out. Good routine. A solid day for Dan Zimper, but just not enough to overtake Tom Schlesinger. Both men rallied strongly after suffering falls in earlier rotations. But it's not going to be this day for Dan Zimfer. We'll be back with his score and a scoring recap. But first, this commercial message. The higher seeds prevailed in this bracket of the 1990 U.S. Challenge. Number two seed, Tom Schlesinger, defeated number five seed, Dan Zimfer, 56.90 to 56.40. The Sam Hill two on the women's side of the competition, where number two seed, Wendy Bruce, had a close call, but prevailed over number eight seed, Tracy Cole. And right now, our Peter Vidmar is with our winners. And Leandra, the veterans do it again. Wendy, did you expect Tracy to give you that much of a run for your money? Um, yeah, I've been watching her a lot, and I've been watching her in training, and I expected to be tough. Great. Well, and Tom, you also had a tough one too, didn't you? Yeah, Dan Zimfer from uh, University of Minnesota. You can count on those guys being really physically strong. And he showed that, so uh, it was tough. Well, we've also got two strong performers here. Good luck in the next round, the final round. Thank Leandra? Thank you very much, Peter Vidmar. And Peter and I will be back to recap exactly who's in the gold medal round. But right now, we pause for a regional break. The 1990 U.S. Challenge has been a presentation of Sports Channel in association with USGF Productions. Let's take a look at how the final brackets stack up for the women's side. Wendy Bruce gets the third and final slot. She'll compete in the final rounds against Kim Zemeskel and Stephanie Woods. Now on the men's side, Tom Schlesinger gets the final nod with his victory this day over Dan Zimfer. And Peter Vidmar, let's talk about the women first. Great job today by Wendy Bruce. Really was, but it was a big surprise, I think, with Tracy Cole. It was tight all the way to the very end. Wendy's always consistent, but Tracy gave her a real run for her money. I thought that was probably the best competition so far in the U.S. Challenge. Were you surprised at all with the men? 
In a way, I was, but it was tight till the very end, and, and yet, uh, Tom, you can always expect him to be tough, but boy, Dan was really tight, and that, that again was probably the best from the men's standpoint. Congratulations and are in order for both of our winners this day. I'd like to remind you that the women's gold medal round will be coming up next. Be sure to check your cable guide when it will be available in your area. This is the third and final round for the women's competition. Congratulations once again to Tom Schlesinger and Wendy Bruce. Fine jobs this day. On behalf of Peter Vidmar, I'm Leandra Riley saying so long, everyone, from Las Vegas, Nevada.